you're on you're on Queen Radio. How are you? I'm good. I'm fine. Now tell us why Brooke reached out to you and what you want to let the people know because there's millions of people let people know today. About what happened between me and Cardi B. Now what, and what happened? What was that? Back in 2014, um, she had posted up an Instagram video. So this was before, the, this was right before she got on Love and Hip Hop and you know, um, she made a video talking about her teeth. She was basically saying, I'm like, oh, I'm not fixing my teeth. I don't give a fuck what nobody has to say. Whatever she was saying. So I had commented on it. And I was like, well, you know, you should just get them done or whatever. Not saying it, like, in a bad way. But I'm just saying, like, you say you don't care what you say, but just do it, whatever. So once that happened, she went to my Instagram. And she must have read my bio. In my bio, you said, rest the peace to my son that passed away. Mm -hmm. So when she read my bio, that's when she that got me with the comment and was like, oh, bitch, that's why you shouldn't have been on drugs. Maybe your baby wouldn't have been alive. She was like, fuck you and your kids. And it was just like a whole bunch. She called my son a monkey. So she, are you a, are you a black woman, ma'am? Okay. She called your child a monkey. Your dead child. 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 Your dead saying, ha, 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 that's good, that's why your baby died, and maybe they wouldn't have died, and you're calling your, your dead child a monkey. Yeah, she didn't hit me up directly in DM. It was underneath one of her posts as a comment. Just wanted to hear it from your mouth, because, you know, so very often I let people do a lot of bullshit talking about me, and people right. around the world believe it, but they don't know what type uh -huh. of disgusting pig this person is. Mm -hmm. Calling a dead child a monkey, but telling people somebody talked about your child that never talked about your motherfucking child, so you can get some fucking sympathy points. Cause I'm tired of people fucking lying on me. So we gonna get into some things. Now you wanna talk about stopping bags, but it's two innocent girls in a strip club right now that ain't did nothing but go to the strip club and get money. Now they can't get no money, so who's stopping bags? Cause you got grown ass fucking men showing up to where the fuck they at and where they work at. They can't feed their kids, they can't feed their fucking family. You can't, they can't feed their fucking family because you mad at what another man sticking his dick inside of. You mad. You mad at a woman for what a man is doing. And that's the problem with so many black women and women period. Oh, because she's not black, because she refers to you black women. Oh, we got the receipts for that, too. FYI, she refers to black women as monkeys and roaches. Mm. Roaches! Mm. These are the women going hard. So there are two beautiful women right now mm. who, who have been accused of whoever they slept with and, you know, whatever. And now, and so they were, you know, allegedly attacked and are cut up everywhere, but not, oh, but not by women, men. You sending men... Well, to beat on women. Let me tell you, but I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to yeah. preface it by saying this. What's sad is that a lot of times a man can hurt a woman so badly that she no longer even knows who she's angry at. Correct. And what happens is, first of all, let's get up a 1-800 number for postpartum depression. Because let me tell you something. That's nothing to joke about. It's nothing to joke about. You just had the biggest blessing of your life with a child. have attacked three women, one at Fashion Week, and left looking the way you left looking so that people could point their fingers at our culture and at our community and laugh at us some more? Let me tell you something. A woman cannot give your man pussy if he doesn't Stick his dick in there. Who are you angry at, sweetheart? You got these women crying and scared to leave their house. And you want to talk about stopping bags? This is disgusting. Because you know they can't, you, they, because you know they can't afford security? So you scaring these girls to death and they can't even come to work anymore? And you want to let your publicist write something about stopping bags? Do you know what the fuck it is to sit in your fucking room for hours and days at a time writing raps? You came into my fucking culture. I never had to fuck a DJ to play my songs. Jesus! You calling black women roaches? You be getting girls beat up because of what your man doing? Real 
bitches never do that. You never attack the woman. You never attack the woman. You take that up with your fucking man. Fuck out of here. You're angry and you're sad and I really, this is not funny and this is not about attacking. This is about get this woman some fucking help. This woman is at the best stage in her career and she's out here throwing bottles and throwing shoes? Who the fuck is gonna give her a fucking intervention? Get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. You niggas don't care somebody, until somebody's fucking dead. You niggas want somebody to fucking die until y'all stop. Until y'all stop this bullshit laughing at this shit. This shit ain't fucking funny. You put your hands on certain people, you gonna die. Period. And y'all sitting here like making this shit a joke? I'm not the bitches in a strip club. And I'm not a bitch on a reality show. My money is very fucking long too.